Hi, I'm Chris with Afflictor Broadheads, and today we're going to touch a little bit on kinetic energy and momentum, and what the differences are and what's important to you. First of all, I think it's important to know that Ke and momentum are very similar to each other. Both are calculated by mass and weight, and both have an effect on your arrow downrange. In fact, you'll have a little bit of effect of your arrow while it's in your riser, too, as far as absorption of sound and vibration as well. So if we take these two variations, what is most important to the hunter, kinetic energy or momentum? Well, if you think of kinetic energy as the hammer and your arrow is the nail, it might help you out. Also, another way to think about is that would you rather be trying to stop a baseball coming at you at 400 feet per second or a bowling ball at 300 feet per second? The bowling ball has a lot more momentum while the baseball has a lot more KE. So there's a fine process there in making sure your arrow is exactly what you need it to be to have the proper speed, weight, and penetration. But if you look at a lot of what's been written by Dr. Ashby or the Ranch Ferry, you can instantly see what momentum has to offer in this equation is definitely being primary. FOC is definitely at the forefront of the conversation in archery today, as long, and so is speed and kinetic energy and momentum. But when you put that all together, momentum clearly shines as your number one factor in penetration. So the important factor to consider here is you can bump up your KE simply by going to a lighter arrow, but you're definitely going to be losing momentum and losing your penetration potential. So the trick in all of this is finding a sweet spot. And it's good to work out the formulas. Every arrow company has a formula chart. There's a lot of charts you can just pull up on the internet to, to calculate your KE and your momentum. And it really is beneficial to know where you are. But what's most important is for guys that are shooting mechanicals and you're looking at KE, you see a lot of articles on what KE is enough to properly open and expand my mechanical broadhead. Well, momentum has much more effect, even though there's parameters for KE that make sense. Momentum is what your guarantee is to be able to open that broadhead and deploy it and keep it driving through the animal. The goal is a pass through. We just don't wanna get an arrow into an animal. We want it to go out the other side so we have two holes. So when you are looking and choosing your arrow and your setup, take a good look at KE, take a good look at momentum, weigh out where you think your sweet spot is for your setup, maybe do some calculations, get an idea, read a few articles, and then the best test is to go in your backyard and shoot it. See what you can get away with in your backyard. How much drop are you at 20, 30, and 40 yards but where's your penetration find your sweet spot and and keep that relative to your current game that you're hunting and your hunting setup so if you know that you're going to be shooting at 30 yards mostly from your tree stand and you're practicing at 30 yards see what your setup does at 30 yards and you'll have a good idea of how ke and momentum are going to affect you in the woods so just to recap, kinetic energy and momentum are both extremely important calculations for an archery hunter. Both have their place and should be considered when you're selecting the proper arrow and broadhead for your setup. As a bow hunter, if penetration is truly your main goal, then momentum should be your primary consideration in factors when you're selecting your broadhead weight and your arrow type. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And again, you can contact us anytime by phone or on the web.